I'm Joe. I live with Judy Carroll for 11 years. I love it so much. reasons for me to become a carer were very much one of my sons had uh, moved out and the other one was at university and uh, I felt that I had so much more to give. Jo, when she came to me, she wouldn't really talk to people very much and was fairly isolated in her communication skills. I would say now that Jo's very confident in that. She's able to use all of the community around here locally. I walk the dogs in the woods, in a park. I can go out to the shops on my own get my money out on, on my own. She's so independent now. She would have never done that when she first came to me. It can be hard work, it can be fun. <laughs> I need to be empathic at a time and be very conscious of their feelings and how they're perhaps not able to tell you everything and definitely a sense of humour. <laughs> I've got an allocated shared lives worker and uh, if there's an issue or if I have a problem I know I can phone them. My worker will be there to support me on the end of a phone or possibly even a, a personal visit and they will always advise you as to what to do. It is beneficial if you've got some awareness of people with learning difficulties, obviously, but it is something that they will support you through and help you with. The benefits are immense because it's like having a family and being part of a family. They get so much out of it, so much independence, so much support if they need it and the growth and the development is there and it's genuine. The thing with shared lives is that it can lead and does lead to independent living. The successes are there and they're worth their weight in gold to watch these people develop into rounded, comfortable in their lives and I think that's great. <music>